All right, Celebrity Sleaze is presented by McDonald's. The best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Fram sleaze us. Well, at what point were you going to let us know that you were hanging out with Usher, Barnes? Oh, uh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I saw this picture of you on Instagram, which everyone should go to your Instagram to uh, check out that photo. Yeah, so I, I went to the gym after the show, was it two days ago? And when I came back from the gym, there was Usher. What, at the radio station? Yeah, like lost in the halls. And so That's so interesting. So we did a little ab work, and we did a little dance-off, and... <laughs> He is the nicest guy. Did you tell him you loved his halftime show at the Super Bowl? I told him I loved it all. I did not ask about Diddy. Okay, good. And okay. I I will tell you, and I don't want him to get sensitive about this. Him, I'm talking about Bert. He hugged me harder than he did Bert. How do you know that? Because I because I saw. I'm just saying that Why did you get a why did you get a tighter hug? Look at the look at the photo on my at Barnesology at Instagram. Look, you can't even see our two arms. He's squeezing me so tight. Tell everyone your Instagram. Barnesology. Uh, yeah, it, that photo. You're towering over him too. He. I know is, you're tall. And that dude must work out because I'm telling you, I touched his shoulder. You know, like when a guy goes, "Hey man, how are you?" His shoulder is. It was all muscle. It's like cement. <laughs> oh, dang. I'm not. I'm not kidding you. And his grip. Like, he is a workout fiend, I can tell. The dude is hardcore, but nicest guy. He seems guy. like the nicest yeah, guy. super nice. He gets it. Some stars, when they, you know, come down the halls, they don't yeah. get it. They, no eye contact. Yeah. But not Usher. If that would have been in the morning, I'd have said, come on in, bro. Let's talk. Well, when you were hugging Usher, yeah. I was hugging Jelly Roll. Oh, yeah. And the, did you ask about the rumor about he's going to be the new American Idol judge? I didn't. He had a lot of people around him, but we did get to talk because, you know, he swept the CMT Awards. He talked about how appreciative he was. But, man, he got on that Grand Ole Opry stage, and he was a preacher. Why has he not been on our show yet? Get you're it. hanging out with this dude, like, every week you talk about how you're somewhere. Yeah, well, you know what he said on stage? That he went to the Masters. Like, he's everywhere. Well, you would definitely notice him. And then, guess who was hanging out with him? Who? Machine Gun Kelly. Really? And that dude is tall. Yeah, he's very tall. Ta how were? All right, well, let's get. Well, hold on. Any, while you're on it, any Kelsey Ballerini? Kelsey was there. She's gorgeous. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, um, thanks for that update. I appreciate that. And I'll send you a photo. She sounded amazing. She actually was the headliner. Did you tell she her? She was like, oh, thanks a lot for like, like making me come after Jelly Roll. Did you tell her she's on the top five? Get her in here. I haven't told her yet. Get on it. Sleaze. Okay. Sleaze. Okay, I was wondering about this next story, but there is a reason. Travis Kelsey's next gig, we've talked about this, game show host. Yeah, he's booked his first TV series job hosting a spinoff of the Fox game show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader for Amazon Prime Video, is called Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? So I guess he'll have adult contestants answering sixth grade level questions with the help of course of some famous faces but i didn't realize he said i grew up loving game shows and i'm excited to be following in the footsteps of so many tv icons now, could there be a better gig no if he's good if he's even remotely good and he's already yeah. had so much media training he could be set up not that he needs the money but i mean with a nice fun gig do you realize that he is like this show is poised to be huge because of him well especially if he stays dating someone uh Exactly. Okay. Wow. We, you and I have been talking about like reboots and all of that. Guess what? Pamela Anderson is dressing up for Naked Gun, signed up to play opposite Liam Neeson in the untitled remake of Naked Gun. Is this going to work? What? She hasn't done anything. I was actually surprised to see that they're doing a remake. Well, now, of course, yeah. Liam Neeson will play, of course, famous detective Frank Dreben played by Leslie Nielsen, and then she's going to play the girlfriend, which is crazy. Yeah, she's been silent, but who doesn't love a good Naked Gun movie? I mean, they need to get some of those fun, not pranky, but Do just you remember those... who the original love interest was? Oh, no. Priscilla Presley. Oh, I do. I do. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, that is crazy. Uh, Michael J. Fox weighing in on some of the biggest names and stars today, talking to People Magazine, the 50th anniversary issue I love that he pointed out two people he said are good people, and he thinks they could make a big impact in the future, Taylor Swift and Ryan Reynolds. You know, I didn't realize that he was talking about how Ryan is a very philanthropic 
person. He seems like it. And also very smart. Dude's like everywhere. And then I love the quote about Taylor. I think she's going to be a really important person. I think she moves economies, which we've seen. Of course, she changes the way the world works, and that's amazing. Well, that's like your buddy Courtney Love, who's got her new female empowerment whatever show, and she's trashing every woman that's doing something right now. Not smart. Yeah. Yeah. That is your celebrity sleaze. (laughs) 